hope you're doing really, really well. We are back under the tree of love <laughs> and really wanted to share some beautiful new moon messages with you. It's all about health, this new moon. We're in the fabulous sign, the strength of the lion of Leo, and it's all about health is wealth. I've been through a little bit of a, a journey <laughs> myself, shall we say, on the health front in, in the past month or so, where I didn't really listen to what my body was telling me to the point that I, I did a higher mind training, which is beautiful training by Christos T. Perry. I went into one of the practices and asked to just get rid of this cough that was kind of hanging around and members of my household had said, go and see the doctor. And I said, no, I'm vegan. I look after myself. I'm fine. I don't drink alcohol. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> And so what happened was I went into the in, uh, went in with the intention of removing this cough from my system in the higher mind training, woke up the next day, complete healing crisis, felt dreadful, agreed to go and see the doctor. And I was put on um, corticosteroids, antibiotics, uh, something else, oh, an inhaler. <laughs> because what had happened was because I had ignored the the signs of the cough, the, I had bronchitis, a throat infection, um, and my bronchial tubes were squeezed so tightly that there wasn't enough oxygen getting into my blood. And it explained so much, it explained why I was having panic attacks before I was going on to interview some incredible people. It explained why I was falling asleep all over the place. And so I was on these very, very strong corticosteroids, that's what they're called in um, in Spanish, corticosteroides, and yeah, they were horrible, absolutely horrible, and so for 10 days I was, I was on these, and I had a high dose and then it tapered off, and I felt dreadful, I felt awful, I didn't feel like eating, I felt actually worse, so I had a real healing crisis, because I don't have chemicals in my body, um, and I found out later by um, Christos T. Perry again, um, my amazing teacher and Foster Perry, both amazing teachers in whichever order, there's, they're both fabulous. <laughs> they told me that um, the corticosteroids were actually getting me back into my body. Um, because obviously, well, it's not necessarily obviously, I enjoy, I enjoy so much guided journeys. I enjoy um, all of the chakras up here so much. And sometimes I'm a little bit fairy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm quite floaty and butterfly -y and, you know, I need grounding. So what this really did was bring me completely back into my body and come on today. And today is actually, <laughs> I'm laughing because one of my babies, Cleo, she's playing at my feet. She's reminding me to play. Yes, Moomy. Can you hear her? Yeah, Booms. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, oh, hi, Shnooms. You want to come and say hello? Hang on, see if I can turn it down. There she is, Mimi. Okay, she's not going to speak now. She said her piece. She's like, yeah, don't forget that it's Leo month. <laughs> so this is my birthday week. I am a Leo, shocker. <laughs> and it's all about this new moon that's coming tomorrow at 11.38. It's uh, Central European time is all about health is wealth. Health really is wealth. It's really, really taking care of ourselves and using that strength of the lion to really, really, really look after ourselves. So if there's anything, absolutely anything in your life that doesn't feel right and you're not listening to that, your body is gonna come in and speak to you at some point. So really be aware of everything that's going on. Really take stock and I would invite you to journal before the new moon tomorrow. Um, I really take stock of everything that's going on. So when I say health is wealth, it's not only our physical health, it's our mental health, it's our spiritual health, our emotional health, healthy relationships, it's all about health. <laughs> okay, so what I would invite you to do is to get a get a journal and just write a few things down and be really honest with yourself about how you're feeling where you are at the moment. Are there any relationships that need a little bit of nurturing, that need a little bit of extra TLC or possibly ending? <laughs> Not to be too dramatic, but 
if we don't do that, the universe does it for us. So gently, gently, just look at where you are in your life. Look at what you're consuming, and that's in, in all ways. Look at what you're uh, watching on social media. Look at where your interests are. Do they really align with your true core beliefs? That's what we're being shown at the moment is who we truly are and aligning ourselves with what that means. So for example, there were things that I wasn't listening to <laughs> and I needed to be in silence. Um, so what happened with the corticosteroids is, uh, and, and the inhaler is my voice went, it affected my vocal cords. So I couldn't record, I couldn't speak. Um, you know, I was in silence. I had to had to look after here, and the throat chakra is is about past lives. It's about speaking our truth. So that was where I really needed to focus attention on whilst I was shaking on corticosteroids, and I didn't eat anything either. Um, I wasn't remotely hungry. I didn't want anything in my system apart from every now and then I would have a, a, a ginger drink. Um, so really listen to actually what your body is wanting at the moment. Really listen to the environment that you're around. So it's landed on my head. <laughs> um, really, really, really listen to that. Thank you, yes. And there's a, there's a dragonfly above us as we started as well. Cleo's been meowing. Um, and as it's my birthday week, what I would really like to do is I'm an animal lover. <laughs> and... I've, um, we've had some really beautiful guest speakers, the, the podcast series, this one is all about the art of healing. And I always say that we can learn so much through animals and the art of healing is creative art, it's healing arts, but nature is the most healing of all. You know, animals are the most healing of all. Since I've been back in, in Spain with my babies, um, I've just, you know, I've, I've come back to myself. I've been in my, in my environment. And being in England was really interesting because I continued my illness there. <laughs> Arriving in England, um, and Christos P T. Perry explained this to me as well, I went from one platonic environment to another one. Um, and very much what's happening is with Pluto, there's, there's strong endings, there's dramatic occurrences because we are being placed into where we need to be. And so for me, when I thought I was going to be going straight into work for three weeks, I had to rest for the first seven to 10 days. And again, just really, really be in my body. And, re and again, I didn't feel like eating, just be really present and listen to everything that was going on. And one of the places, <laughs> Cleo's, yeah, she's, she's back. <laughs> so Cleo keeps prompting me to say things, which is why I'm giggling a little bit. And one of the places that I went to and spent time and did some energy work there. I heard from uh, one of the people that live there that one of the household members who never really wants to tidy their room, is never interested, is surrounded by clutter, returned to their environment and said they want to live in a calm environment and started having a clear out. So, <laughs> clear is just not the tripod as well. So it's happening everywhere. So everything we do internally is affecting what's happening around us so just just remember that um don't feel that you have to save the world just work on yourself and just by working on yourself you already are helping the world you now you're raising your vibration you're putting yourself out there you're you're putting yourself in alignment you are putting yourself out there so you are living your authentic true life and I, she's in complete play mode at the moment and play make sure you play because <laughs> Leo is courage, Leo is strength, Leo is bravery, but Leo is also um, leadership and taking leadership of, of, your, of your own life. But cats love to play. So don't forget that playful uh, aspect and that confidence, you know, that feeling that confidence in you and that creativity in you, you work with that. So as I'm talking, I'm getting quite a few messages through. So I might start speaking quite quickly in a moment. Um, and I also have a guided journey to take us through as well for the new moon. But just really wanted to share that. So the first thing is really focus. The fundamental thing is really focus on your health. Is there anything that you can change? Is there anything that you have made changes with which you are already seeing um, improvements? So congratulate yourself for that. Congratulate every win. You know, be kind to yourself. Be your own best friend. 
just felt I needed to move over so you could see the, the tree of love. <laughs> so be your own best friend. Take time with you and surround yourself with incredibly inspiring, motivational and people who have your best interests at heart as well. Look at the environments that you're going into. Look at the environments that, the, that you're surrounding yourself with and be really mindful. Is that right for you? Because as we align to why we're truly here, changes automatically are going to happen. You know, there's the old adage, the only constant is change. There's constantly change going on. And when we push against that, when we resist that, then the universe will change something for us or we will stay where we are, keep learning and learning and learning and going round and round and round in that situation, in that lesson until we finally have that light bulb moment. So be kind to yourself. Don't compare yourself to where somebody else is um, in any way. Just compare yourself to where you have been. If you're gonna do any comparisons, compare yourself to where you have been. Um, and if that means doing a little bit more inner work on yourself, then with compassion, I said this last time actually, with compassion, with gentleness, with kindness, work on yourself, do that inner work. Don't berate yourself for not doing the inner work. Just congratulate yourself for being where you are now and noticing that you've done that and, and really feeling your intuition and really noticing what works for you. And before you go into any kind of environment, feel how you feel about going into that. Notice how you feel around certain people. Notice, are there any behavioral changes after you've been around those people? Do you have any situation, say, let's say health-wise, that if you've been with somebody afterwards, you need to have, I don't know, a glass of wine or you, you have um, comfort food. Look at that. Why is that? That's your body trying to maybe protect yourself. There's an element perhaps from childhood that is being brought up that's, that's triggering you to do that. So it's about being really soft and really gentle because yes, the lion is about roaring and courage and bravery. They also love to play, but they also sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so if you need to rest and really, really, I don't want to use the word indulge because it sounds like it's um, negative, but really bask yourself in self-care, have a massage, um, listen to some beautiful music, just really get yourself into a place of complete tranquility and joy in whatever works for you. And we're all different, you know, it's not one size fits all. So what works for me might not work for somebody else. So if you, if the last thing you can do is meditate, you might have a different way of meditating. Your meditation may be mowing the lawn, doing the gardening. Your meditation may be going for a run, playing with your cats, um, playing with your dogs. There's different ways to, to meditate. And there's the dragonfly again. Again, it's not one size fits all. So the new moon message is very much, <laughs> there he is. Oh, she beautiful huge blue dragonfly just circling around at the moment um so the and dragonflies are all about transformation so just really take a moment i would say just really take a moment get into your own space tv off phone off just feel into you and place your hand on your heart and close your eyes, notice your breath, and then notice your breath again as you've taken that time, it's becoming more and more gentle. And just ask a question to yourself. Where do I need extra love in my life? Don't say improvement, don't say better, don't say you know, um, there's no um, judgment, no judgmental words, just where do I need extra love? Because you will automatically improve that area of your life. It will automatically become better. But often when we start feeling into these kinds of words, we can get into a sense of panic of, oh my goodness, I have to change that. Oh my goodness, that has to be better. Just ask yourself, where do I need extra love in my life? Okay. <laughs> and as I'm saying this, I can feel so much love around me. It's very, very beautiful. And actually today um, in Catholicism, well, anybody who wishes to celebrate is the Assumption of Mary, where the, the legend goes that she was 
taken to earth as she passed, taken to earth, <laughs> taken to heaven as she passed. So whatever your belief, I'm not Catholic, <laughs> but whatever your belief, it's a very beautiful day to celebrate Mary and to celebrate nurturing and love in whatever capacity that means for you, however Mary means for you. So for me, Mary is a goddess. For me, Mary is a is a beautiful, nurturing, crea um, creative, absolutely creative mother. She's Mother Gaia as well. You know, there's there's so many creative mothers around us. So work with the energy. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to work with the energy of Mary, that really nurturing. Get my right teeth in that really nurturing, beautiful soul. So with that in heart, I'm going to take you through a journey for the new moon. Okay, <laughs> so this is recorded and so if you wish to pause, get yourself comfortable, please do so. Play some delightful, gorgeous music that works for you. We're outside at the moment, so you've, at the moment you're just going to have the beautiful bird song and the sounds of nature if that's what you would like to listen to. So when you're ready, and Cleo's here by the way, this is why my arm is moving, I'm stroking her. <laughs> She's reminding me of self-care. So when, as you're ready, find yourself in a really beautiful, relaxed space. And know that you deserve this time, this beautiful, nurturing time for yourself. As we go through this, this self-healing journey, to prepare for the beautiful new moon in Leo. And know that you can take this journey anytime. It doesn't have to be now. It could be in the next few days with the energy of the new moon. And know that all is happening at exactly the right moment. Don't push anything, don't rush anything, just be. Now gently close your eyes. Unfold your arms, unfold your legs, and whether you're sitting down or lying down, just place your hand over your heart and close those beautiful eyes. And you're already feeling that your body is becoming more and more relaxed as you connect with your heart. and feel that heart connection all the way through you. Feel how selfless your heart is, always beating for you, always allowing your body to function for you, always. Never complains, never stops, never causes a scene, just constantly beats and emits love, unconditional love all the way through your body. And with this sensation, with your hand on your heart, I would like you to notice a beautiful green and golden energy surrounding you. In your mind's eye, see yourself surrounded by a beautiful green and golden egg all the way around you. You're completely protected. You're completely engulfed in love. Just allow that to surround you. And you feel amazing. And now allow this glorious green and gold energy to start immersing itself through your system. It's surrounding all of you. So allow it to go through your head, through your forehead, through your throat, through your heart, through your stomach, through your sexual region through your lumbar area, allow it to go into all your chakras and just feel this beautiful deep healing of the golden green energy that is love surging through your system. And feel into that moment. And your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes is immersed in golden green energy revitalizing, refreshing your cells. And this golden green energy is smoothing away and melting away any fear that you may have for living your true authentic self. Any fear you may have of making changes. 
any fear you may have of losing people as you make the changes. Know that as you make this beautiful space, you're creating the space for the wonders of the new moon. For the new moon in Leo, there's giving you so many gifts, so many new friendships, so many new opportunities that align with who you truly, truly are. Aligning the lion, aligning with the lion. So allow this glorious green and golden energy to surge all the way through your system. And then very, very gently, this golden green energy hovers over your heart space. And you feel amazing. And allow this green and golden energy to enter into your heart, into your heart space, into your true self into your true authentic you and you feel wonderful and as this green and golden energy enters into your heart space you feel the most incredible surge of unconditional love and in your heart space see yourself as a child doesn't matter what age, you could be a baby, a toddler, a teenager, whatever comes up for you, that's absolutely right. <laughs> and if you don't see anything, know that you're feeling. Don't worry if you're not seeing anything, just feel. And know that whatever is happening for you as you are guided through this journey is exactly what you can handle at this moment. You're receiving all that your spiritual team are giving you that is going to help you in this very moment. And know you are always guided and you are always protected. And see yourself as the child and feel yourself as the child. And walk towards yourself as a child. Where is your child? What environment is your child in? Just notice that. Is your child outside in nature? Is your child writing? Is your child playing? Is your child watching TV? <laughs> Notice what your child is doing. And with absolutely no judgment, feel if your child is actually enjoying whatever they are doing. And ask them, what would you truly like to do? If they are on their phones, if they are on, in watching television, if they are inside, do they want to go into nature? Do they want to go and play? Do they want to create something? What does your child truly, truly wish to do? And as they answer, don't think about it, just accept it. And whatever that is, you will go together and do that activity. So very gently, you and you or yourself as a child, find yourself in the environment that your child truly, truly wishes to be in. And how does that feel? Notice everything around you. Notice the colors. Notice the fragrance. Are there any plants there? Any flowers? Are there any animals? Just notice that. And be so truly present in that moment. Maybe you wish to sing together. Maybe you wish to write together. Maybe you just wish to sit under a tree with your eyes closed and be in the moment. Whatever is happening for you and your child, know that is absolutely right. And now look at yourself as a child again and notice what you're wearing now. What colors are you wearing? And now look at your face as a child. 
Has the expression changed? Do you look happier? Do you look more content? Do you look more like yourself? Do you feel more like yourself? Notice that. And as you're with your inner child, you know that you can come here whenever you wish. And first, you're going to go to a tree with your child and there will be a gift there for you. And it can be anything. It could be a book. It could be a piece of fruit. It could be a song. It could be an animal. It could be a gemstone. It could be a crystal. It could be a plant or a flower. Whatever is there for you. It could be something for sports. Whatever is there for you, do not second guess it. Take that gift with gratitude. So pick up that gift and give it to yourself as a child. And see their expression and feel how wonderful you feel in this moment. And you know it's time to come back with this beautiful feeling of connecting with your true authentic self and what you truly wish in this moment. And as you feel this, a guardian appears behind yourself as a child. This guardian, maybe an ancestor, maybe a god or goddess, maybe a saint, is going to protect your inner child, yourself as a child, as you journey back. And as you journey back, you know this glorious self-healing has created space for extra love in your life, wherever that may be. And you are taking back the love for yourself as a child. You're bringing that back to all aspects of your life. So give yourself as a child a hug, embrace each other and feel that unconditional love all the way through your system. And you feel wonderful. Now, very, very gently, you're going to come back You know that yourself as a child feels very, very safe. The guardian is there. And they continue the activity that you have finished and know that you can come back whenever you wish to continue with that activity. But for now, you are going to bring this glorious, unconditional love back into the world. This unconditional love for you. This unconditional love that shows you are worthy of living your authentic, aligned life. That is why you are here. For as we work on ourselves, we heal the world. So very, very gently, you come out of your heart space. Feel still that glorious green and golden energy surging through your system, clearing and cleansing anywhere that no longer serves your purpose getting rid of any aches or pains, any childhood wounds. Just allow it all to go and be dissolved because it's creating space. It's creating space for the true authentic you as you embrace the new moon in Leo, the courageous, brave, strong new moon in Leo. And you take that strength. And that strength also means vulnerability. Being really honest with yourself. Strength is in so many ways, powerful, self-empowered, courageous, brave. And being courageous and brave is being vulnerable. Being courageous and brave is trusting in the process. Being courageous and brave is allowing yourself to move on from situations that no longer serve you into the unknown. That's bravery. So as you're ready with this newfound courage and strength and knowing that you are walking into the best moment of your life, 
gently come back. Very, very gently come back. The golden green energy is still surging through your system and it will do. Clearing and cleansing and refreshing your cells. And as the green and golden energy is refreshing and cleansing your cells, it will automatically melt away, taking anything that no longer serves you, any gray areas, any stuck or blocks, any stuck areas, any blockages are all melted away. And this golden green energy will continue working for you. You don't have to push it out your system. It will continue working for you, giving you a healthy body, a healthy mind, healthy emotions, healthy relationships, as you allow it to do so, as you allow yourself with the strength of the lion to live your true authentic life, to show who you truly, truly are. That's courage. Embrace that for the new moon. So very gently, bow your head. Knowing that you remember this entire journey, remembering all the words that resonate with you, with no judgment. Remember you will remember this feeling. Remember you will remember the gift that you received and know and remember you can go back whenever you wish. So very gently tap your hands on your thighs, whether you're lying down or sitting down. Gentle shoulder rolls. And with your head bowed, open those beautiful eyes. And you are back. And I would suggest that you just spend some time feeling into this moment, feeling into this glorious empty space that you have created where everything is possible. So much love, wishing you a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful new moon in Leo. And I really hope this has helped you. If you would like to share, like, and subscribe, please do. And we will see you again very soon. Oh, so much love.